Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so this is part two of the tour of my new RV. Um, the Wildwood Heritage Glen Hyperlite by Forest River. This is the entry side of the RV. And as you can see here, um, you have manual steps. And they're easy to fold up and down, no big deal. Um, they get you in and out of the rig, which is nice. Then you have a door handle, which is really kind of interesting, and it covers the, the door quite nicely. Out here, you also have um, entertainment area where you can put your television, hook it in, plug in your cable, and you also have outside speakers. Here you've got the hot water tank, and this rig uh, operates on both propane and electric. So that's pretty cool. And over here, you have additional storage. Now this is my setup storage. So this is where I put my cords and hoses and stuff. Um, everything except for the sewage hoses. That fits in there quite, quite well. Then towards the back of the rig, you've got um, nothing really except for your cable hookups here. So you have park cable, and then you have a satellite dish. Of course, dish out here, you have an electric canopy, which I love the canopy. The canopy works real well. It works off of a remote control, or it works off of um, a button inside the RV. I like the remote control because the remote control allows you to put it out when you're outside. One of the things I neglected to talk about is the lights uh, under the canopy, which is really pretty cool. I'm gonna turn them on with my remote control. And they have nice LED lights at the top of the canopy. And then there's blue lights underneath the RV. So let's see. Boom. There's the lights at the top. And then here are the blue lights underneath the rig. Which is, <laughs> Which is pretty cool, actually. Now, it's not as dark out here. And of course, you know, with the GoPro, the GoPro doesn't do really well in the dark. But you've got these beautiful blue lights that go all along the bottom of the RV. And they really do illuminate the steps. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. All right, let's move towards the front of the RV. Now, in the front of the RV, well, I shouldn't say the front, but on both sides of the RV, you have your um, stabilizer jacks here, and it's they're electric. The rig is also wired with a Furion satellite solar, I'm sorry, solar. So all you have to really do is plug in your solar panels and there's a charge controller here in the um, front storage bay. That's pretty cool. I gotta read up more on that though. Okay, the next stop part of this is the storage area. And this storage area is actually the front storage bay of the RV that goes through, it's a pass-through. So pretty well fits everything I had at, in Myrtle. Um, and some stuff I'm going to be bringing into the rig, but is in here for right now because I just moved in, obviously. So it's a pretty decent storage area. All right, as we progress to the very front of the rig, you can see I have my propane tanks, and I also have my um, jack, electronic jack, and a nice light here, which lights up at night or when you're wanting to hook up and you need some extra, extra light. Now around the back, you have the other pass-through here, which is locked right now, but that pass-through goes all the way through, just like the other side. And then you have your outside shower, black tank flush, which is a very nice feature. I did not have that on Myrtle. Fresh water connector, and then of course your city water connector. Now this RV has actually um, two gray tanks. One is for the kitchen, and the second one is for the shower and the bathroom or and the uh, sink in the shower. And then you also have the black tank. Those connectors are here. And then you have your 30 amp electric connector. And then of course your slide. And that's it. That's the outside of the RV. 
I hope you've enjoyed the outside tour of my new RV. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.